In an earlier lecture, we discussed a very simple but interesting idea from elementary number theory, and it was called the arithmetic of remainders. The gist of the idea was this, that if we have two numbers, add one and add two, and if I divide n1 by d, and also n2 by d, and suppose the remainders are r1 and r2, then a very interesting thing happens when I multiply n1 and n2. If I multiply n1 and n2 and divide this product by d again, my remainder is either r1, r2, if r1, r2 is less than d, or if r1, r2 is greater than d, then we divide r1, r2 by d again to get the final remainder, which is r3. Thus making our calculation of remainders very simple. Instead of actually multiplying the initial numbers, we can now multiply the remainders themselves and work with them. This particular idea was used by Gauss, one of the greatest mathematicians of all times. Uh, and he formalized this technique into something called theory of congruence. There are different ways of learning this theory of congruence. Uh, we will use a visual technique which actually Gauss proposed. Well, Gauss said that two numbers are said to be congruent modulo m if their difference is measurable using m. Now, before we go into the algebraic nitty-gritty of this matter, let's look into the geometric aspect of it. Imagine there is a small scale of length m. And suppose on the number line, we have two integers. Here numbers, by numbers we mean integers. So suppose we have two integers, a and b. Now what is it that Gauss is saying? He's saying that look at the difference, look at the difference between a and b. That is this distance between a and b. Is it measurable using m? What does it mean? Well, it means that using several copies of this m, if I put them side by side, is this distance exactly coverable? Can I cover these, this distance using several copies of this scale? As you can see, I cannot in this case, right? It, the last, the fifth piece of M sort of overlaps the required region. But if, instead of doing, instead of B, if I had a little bit more space here, let's say B prime, then if I had B prime, then perhaps this fifth piece would fit in. Well, it sort of does. The picture is not very pretty, but we understand what's happening here, right? If this distance between A and B is measurable in terms of M, that is taking a scale of length M, if we can take several pieces of that and 
put them one after another and covered that distance between A and B, then we will say that A and B are congruent modulo. You can think of this word modulo as measurable by. So it's congruent modulo M. I think this geometric notion is quite important to start off with. And we, we, we can readily look into some examples uh, of congruent numbers. But first, before we even talk about congruent numbers, we have to fix the scale. So let's fix the scale. So fix the scale is suppose 4. Now let's take two numbers. Let's take 17 and 25. Now the length between 17 and 25, is it measurable in terms of 4? Now of course it is because 25 minus 17, you can easily see that this distance is 8. So we would actually need just two pieces of the scale like this two pieces of this scale and each each one is of length 4 of course so with two pieces of the scale the distance between 17 and 25 can be exactly covered now so according to gauss's definition we will say that all right 25 is congruent to 17 modulo modulo 4. Now this in Gauss's notation 25 is congruent he uses three bars like this congruent to 17 mod m in this case m is 4. The congruence sign is kind of similar to the equality sign, right? I mean, there is just one extra bar. And this is not a coincidence. We will see that the congruency relation has a lot in common with the equality relation. That is because both of them are something called an equivalent relation. We will understand the meaning of these terms in subsequent lectures, hopefully. At the moment, try to experiment with some more numbers. And first fix the scale. The scale could be 4, 5, 11, 12, anything. And then pick num two numbers in general. And try to figure out if they are congruent modulo to the scale that you have fixed.